additional screening cameras have been installed at Hawaii's airports. They're screening Trans-Pacific passengers as they get off their aircraft to detect those who may have a temperature of 100.4 degrees or higher. Ben Gutierrez has the story. The new cameras have been mounted just above the doors to the jet bridges between the aircraft and the terminal. A video image and a thermal image are sent to a video tablet monitored by National Guard personnel. Uh, estimated temperature uh, appears over the person's head. Then only if someone exceeds 100.4 degrees in an elevated body temperature would their image appear on the bottom of the screen. The system is replacing the manual screenings in which each passenger had to stop to have someone take their temperature. Now that this is involved, people can exit the jet bridge without stopping and continue on. Um, so it's a more efficient uh, manner of deplaning and exiting the plane. The system was developed by NEC Corporation, but this is the first time it's been installed in an airport. We have a, a couple other installations in the U.S. with some other customers, which is similar in nature. Want to bring automation as well as the safety and security of that automation at the same time. Eventually, the cameras will take a snapshot of a passenger with a high temperature. Now that picture itself will not be shared with anyone um, outside of the State Department of Transportation and it's only going to be kept on record um, for 30 minutes and then it will be purged and deleted. The system is being installed at the airports in Lihue, Honolulu, Kahului, Kona and Hilo at a cost of $27 million plus another $1.4 million a year for maintenance for 10 years which means this is now a part of the travel experience long term. Ultimately uh, make a safer environment and bring tourism and travel back to the state of Hawaii in, a, in an effective manner. At Daniel K. Inouye International Airport, Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.